Hey everybody out there, how are you all doing? Um, today's a special day because today is the 10th anniversary of this YouTube channel. That's right, I've been here 10 long years. I created this channel on the 10th of October 2010. It's not actually my first channel. If I kept my first channel, we'd be doing a 13th anniversary video. But unfortunately, I didn't. But anyway, what I've done is I've taken um, a video from each year that I've been on YouTube, and I've taken out some um, clips from that video, and I've edited it all together, so you have a nice long, like a mini documentary of my channel. So go get a cup of coffee, sit back, and enjoy. And thanks to everyone who's been with me throughout the years. God bless. Awesome rainbow. Oh, let me get, let me get my camera. Ah, oh, shit, if I can get the whole thing in shot, I don't think I can. We're in Canada at our hotel in Brantford. It's raining a little bit. I've got a rainbow on one side of me and on the other a, um, a sunset. And I'm getting wet. So it's pretty amazing at the moment. Where do we go to get real food, right? America. Yeah, I agree with man. that. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get stuck with eating pizza and ice cream all day. Oh man. Oh, well, no, there's nothing. This is about the only place we can eat except for Domino's. And, it sucks. Yeah. There's no McDonald's, oh, no God. KFC, no Wendy's, no Burger King, all right. no Jack in the Box. There's nothing, yeah. there's nothing. So we're pretty yeah. much, you know, gonna have to survive off of pizza, you know. Yeah. Hey, yeah, okay. Shut up. William Tapley's trying to sing. Oh, the road is coming soon. If you're not right with God, you're going to hell. Yeah. You make my heart sing. Oh yeah! William Tadley! Woo! Okay, I'm standing right in front of Niagara Falls. You can see it just behind me over there. Yeah, it's a really nice day. It's about 31 degrees Celsius. Rod's filming me on his camera too, you see. Yeah, so I've got to find out where this Maid of the Mist tour is. So we can get on it and get some really good up close footage. Whoa, nice and cold out here. Well, I'm not sure whether I should catch a taxi or walk. It's only about a mile and it's really not that cold, not compared to yesterday. It's quite a view, eh? Uh, Lake Michigan and Chicago behind me. Okay, we've got to go to the uh, Chicago Sky Deck now. Let's go. Well, I decided to get a taxi after all. I walked half a mile and I thought, man, nah, too cold. That's where we're going. Right up the top there. Well, this is the highlight of the uh, Chicago deck. I'm not looking down uh, yet. I'll show you why. 
Have a look what's below my feet. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, eh? And here we have the Washington Monument. It's really hard to get a shot of the, um, because it's so tall. Hey, here we go. Hey, everyone. Well, the Lincoln Monument. We should be able to go up all the way. Abraham Lincoln. This is the Gettysburg Address. Probably one of the most famous speeches ever recorded in the United States. Okay, we're going to head off to the White House now. So, come on. Thought I'd get a shot of me in front of the camera with the White House in the background. I wonder if you look through the windows, you can see Mr. Obama having a cup of tea. You're doing a selfie as well. I'm doing a selfie video recording as well. I don't know how good it can tell because I don't have a, a backwards yeah. cam. I made just before the Second World War. The lady says it's no problem to have a look inside, so please. Yeah, well. <laughs> it is good because you will see. Some typical old signs from uh, from socialist regime. <laughs> you see, it's inside. It's not only cars. <laughs> here, this section has loads of motorbikes, old, old old televisions over here. I remember old TVs like that'd be like an 80s TV or something. Ah, uh, yeah, but early 80s. That early one, let's say, is maybe even 70s. I would say. The, the, the bigger they are, the, the, the older they are, the bigger they are. Typewriter. Nobody's using those these days. I remember this telephone. <laughs> Everyone had a telephone like this in the old days. Yeah. National Park Riwa. Work with proper tools. Uh, do not touch, dangerous for your life. Usually they put these at, at electricity uh, places. <laughs> do, do not turn on, uh, machine broken. <laughs> and we're heading back to Sofia. I'm sitting on the bus right now. They've given us a map of all the places we're going to see. And they've also given us a Geiger counter. Lena can switch off the sound and by increasing the threshold level oh, if you are in the radar to go on from this military base. They told that how this radar worked. Soviet soldier had to climb on the top of this radar and to watch some missiles. Yeah, so very interesting. <laughs> also, of course, uh, people in the USA, they had pictures of these objects, uh, I mean some agents, because it doesn't make any sense to have such protective system when your enemy uh, don't know about it. <coughs> Even some civilians had pictures of this object and versions about what is that was very interesting. My favorite version is that this is Soviet mind control device. And in one day they will switch on it and people in West Europe will become, you know, perfect communists. So, they are such a good. Oh boy. But anyway, this is my lunch. I'm in a canteen. The food's not very glamorous. I've got um, chicken, I think it is, and rice. Chicken soup, probably, and a bread roll and a miscellaneous drink. Why is he not here now? He needs to be here. Yeah. He can answer all the questions. Yeah. I mean, I will ask him questions. Yes. <laughs> 
because for you to understand 90 and they never got to use it because um, the power plant meltdown happened a, a few days before this place was going to open so it's like frozen in time Nick here, he's on the diet and he's eating Chinese okay yeah, Chinese. Chinese food's great I do like Chinese got some prawn crackers <laughs> we're just waiting for all the others to arrive <laughs> what's wrong with these guys? <laughs> and Alex is leaving us, he's not coming bowling <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for um, Jason and Zaga to show up. Done either. I'll show you guys the black piece of bread. He's got to get a strike, big Zabi. Poor guy. Come on, Jason, don't let me down. You can beat Zabi. Okay, it looks like Zabi's gonna win, unless he does a couple of gutter balls. So. And Zabi looks like he's the winner. So well done, Zabi. And first place we have Zabi. Second place, Jason. Third place is me. Fourth place is Steve. And then Eva. And lucky last was Nick. Hello, everybody. Um, I thought I'd finally show you my new home. I moved in a couple of weeks ago. It's a little bit messy inside. Um, I've got to buy some cupboards. But anyway, um, okay, let's go and have a look. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, okay, the first room, the master bedroom, which is my room. As you can see, I've got a bed there. As I said, I've got no cupboards yet. Um, that's on the back burner. But I will get that organized um, as soon as I have some more funds. Um, here is the, um, the ensuite bathroom. Excuse my voice, I'm still getting over a, um, a virus. Uh, here is the spare room. I'm actually looking for somebody to rent this out, so um, if you know anybody, send me a message. Message me on Facebook. <coughs> I, it, it has really helped me out at the moment. Um, okay, and here is the dining and room and um, kitchen combined. And here is the backyard. There's, um, that pathway, a uh, friend. Um, Jason helped me out with that, it took us about an hour and a half to put that down. Um, basically I had to, um, because I had to park at the rear, I didn't want to be walking in sand through the house every day, so that's why uh, 
I've got a path laid down and yeah, well, thank you Jason for your help with that. And um, I'm starting to get a few neighbors now. It's a lot more building going on out there. So um, yeah, that's my house at the moment. If I have any major updates like I like get the um, back landscaped or something, which will probably be a year from now, uh, all the walls painted. Um, I've been told it's going to cost uh, about $3,000 to get this house painted, so I just have to put up with plain white plaster for now. Anyway, yep, yeah, I'll give you updates as the months and years go by. Huh, I'm going to be here a long time, so... Um, anyway, I hope you're having a good day. God bless. See you all, and see you later.